Gas Buddy is predicting very, very pricey gas for the summer. It's almost summer. Can you believe it? The year just flew by. Saudi Arabia says it will slash oil supply to the global economy by 1 million barrels per day starting in July. This will likely push up oil prices, making it more expensive uh, to fill your tank. Saudi's cut in oil production supports the sagging cost of crude to balance two earlier cuts in supply by OPEC countries, but you don't care about all those details. Right now, gas prices are hovering around 355 per gallon. That's what you want to know. Gas Buddy giving us that data. Patrick DeHaan is a senior petroleum analyst for Gas Buddy, and he is a brilliant mind. So tell us what we need to expect here. Should we all just get on our bicycles for the next few months? <laughs> well, not if they have a lithium-ion battery, at least yet. Um, you know, yeah, here in the point. short term, um, I do expect that this may have a minor impact on prices. There's no reason to rush and fill your tank up. I think this will be measured in cents per gallon here over the next uh, couple of weeks. We could see the national average going up a little bit, maybe three to six cents this week. Some states could see the average price go up five to ten, maybe even 15 cents over the next couple of weeks. But the real game changer here is the long term. Watch over the next few months as, as, as this production cut continues, or at least from Saudi Arabia, uh, it's going to put more pressure on oil inventories. And keep in mind, U.S. oil inventories, even though prices are lower this year, you'd expect supply to be up significantly. But total commercial U.S. oil inventories, including the SPR, are down by over 126 million barrels from last year. That's where this could sting. In the months ahead, this could tighten the balance of supply and demand and could drive prices up more so down the road than immediately today. For everyday people, in terms of these OPEC nations and why this big, you just mentioned how many barrels, shift uh, that is different from last year, what does the everyday Joe or Jill need to know about how it's going to impact them? Well, essentially, OPEC is controlling how much oil we replenish those inventories with. Keep in mind, we've been emptying the SPR uh, because of Russia's war in Ukraine, but supply remains very, very tight, and that's where OPEC's production cut is going to have a bite. Now, everyone knows supply and demand dictate prices, and with relatively low demand, OPEC's cutting supply even more. That could eventually tilt the needle. That's what OPEC wants. It's striving to drive up oil prices this may do so in a maybe more significant way in the months ahead as now OPEC continues to cut production. Keep in mind, they also announced a production cut back in April. So they're continuing to try pushing oil prices up by cutting into the amount of available supply. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.